Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So today we are going to continue the first exercise of this Heron's formula. Uh, I hope you remember in the last video we have learnt up to the third question in the first exercise of Heron's formula of class 9th. So in today's video we are going to continue with this exercise. So without further delay let's quickly get into this video. So before starting you know the drill hit the subscribe button and also the so the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new videos so here you can see the fourth question is find the area of the triangle two sides of which are 18 cm and 10 cm and the perimeter is 42 cm so here basically they have given only two sides okay that is a is equals to 18 cm they have given and b is equals to 10 cm they have given and c is equals to we don't know what is c but they have given us perimeter perimeter is equals to we know that perimeter is equals to 42 cm already they have given perimeter is 42 centimeter now we know perimeter is equals to a plus b plus c so perimeter already they have given that is 42 centimeter which is equals to a is equals to 18 centimeter plus b is equals to 10 centimeter plus c we will keep as it is so 42 is equals to 18 plus 10 is 28 plus c so if we need c here c is equals to if you keep this c as it is move this 28 to this side it will become 42 this is plus here okay this is plus here if it moves to this side it will become minus okay the movement of this uh, number to the left side of the is equal to sign will give you the negative sign okay so 42 minus 28 that is c is equals to nothing but 14 centimeter we got the value for c that is 14 centimeter now okay now we need to find out s because we need s s is equals to a plus b plus c divided by 2 already we know a plus b plus c is 42 and it is divided by 2 because already you know that is a plus b plus c is your perimeter perimeter is nothing but 42 centimeter okay so now if you divide this two ones are two 2 2s are 4 and 2 1s are 2 that is 21 centimeter you are getting okay now let us put the formula and substitute here area of triangle is equals to root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c okay so s is nothing but they have already got the value that is 21 into again s is 21 minus a we are getting 18 okay then again 21 minus b we got that is 10 and s minus c that is 21 minus 14 so we are getting 21 will keep as it is into 21 minus 18 is 19 20 21 3 we are getting so 21 minus 10 is 11 and 14 minus sorry 21 minus 14 is 7 so how you can open this actually is 21 can be written as 3 7s are 21 okay and this 3 will keep as it is 11 we cannot open it again will keep as it is and this 7 will keep as it is so we got what all things we got 3 we got 2 times 7 we got 2 times and 11 as it is. Now the square, the square and this root is cancelled. So the root is cancelled for 3 and 7. So 3 7s are 21 we got and this 11 will be present in its root itself. It is centimeter square. Okay, so the next fifth question is sides of the triangle are in the ratio 12 is to 17 is to 25. So whenever they are telling you the ratio, you need to remember one thing here that is to in the solution you need to write your A is, see here, this three sides they have given that is 12, 17 and 25. Okay, whenever they are telling you the ratio, it means this is your A, this is your B and this is your C. But you need to add 12 is multiplied with x 
why it is multiplied by x here because we don't know what is the exact value of a they have told us that it is mentioned only in the forms of ratios so we need to find the value of x and we need to multiply it by 12 so to find out the value of a here okay similarly the b value is 17x and c value is 25x so now perimeter is given as 540 centimeter okay already they have given 540 centimeter so perimeter p is equals to a plus b plus c okay perimeter is nothing but 540 which is equals to a value is 12x plus 17x plus 25x so 540 we will keep as it is which is equals to 12 plus 17 plus 25 is nothing but 54x therefore x will be equals to 540 divided by 54 now this is 54 ones are 54 ones are and this zero will be as it is so x value is nothing but 10 now we need the value for a b and c so a is equals to 12x which is 12 into 10 that is 120 centimeter b is nothing but 17x that is 17 into 10 which is equals to 170 centimeter and c is equals to 25x which is equals to 25 into 10 which is 250 centimeter now we got the value of a b and c so let us substitute for the s that is a plus b plus c divided by 2 a is nothing but 120 plus 170 plus 250 divided by 2 now the calculation is 0 7 twos are 14 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 540 divided by 2. Already they have given perimeter that is 540 divided by 2. So S value is nothing but 2 ones are 2, 2 is 4, 1 carry, 2 7 is 14 and 0. So 270 centimeter. S value is this much. So according to the formula, area of triangle is equals to root of S into S minus A s minus b into s minus c so that is equals to root of s value is nothing but 270 into again s value is 270 minus a value is 120 we need to consider this values that is 120 again 270 minus 170 and again 270 minus 250 so 270 will keep as it is it is multiplied by 120 if you subtract here we are going to get 150 okay into again 270 minus 170 is 100 again into this is 20 so here we can write this as 27 into 10 into 15 into 10 into 10 into 10 and 2 into 10 you can see 270 can be written as 27 into 10 150 15 into 10 10 100 can be written as 10 into 10 and 20 can be written as 2 into 10 okay so again if you open this you can write 27 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 because 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 into 10 can be written as 2 5 is a 10 15 can be written as 5 3 is a 15 into again 10 can be written as 5 twos are 10 again 5 twos are 10 again 5 twos are 10 again 2 will be as it is and 5 twos are 10 now if you can see here see here root of this 3 is squared into 3 and 3 is squared okay again 2 and 2 is squared okay and into this 5 square okay then this 5 square okay this 2 and this 2 is squared again then 5 and 5 is squared again and 2 2 is again 2 is squared 
so all the squares and all the roots are cancelled so what is remaining is 3 into 3 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2 if you multiply all this what you are going to get is 3 3 is a 9 9 2 is a 18 18 okay so if you multiply all these you are going to get with see here 3 3 is a 9 9 2 is a 18 you got again 5 5 is a 25 25 2 is a 50 you got and into 10 so finally you got the answer to be as 18 into see 5 1 is a 5 500 so 18 5 is a 90 and this two zeros so you got centimeter square so 9000 centimeter square this will be the final answer here okay so the last question of this exercise an isosceles triangle has a perimeter 30 centimeter see the question isosceles triangle they have given and perimeter is given as 30 centimeter so let us write perimeter to be as 30 centimeter and each of the equal sides is 12 centimeter so we know that in an isosceles triangle two sides will be equal so let us consider a is equals to 12 centimeter and b is equals to 12 centimeter we don't know the value of c because it will be something else so find the area of the triangle okay so again perimeter is given that is a plus b plus c we know perimeter is 30 which is equals to a is 12 plus b is 12 plus what is c so 30 is equals to 12 plus 12 is 24 plus c so c is equals to 30 if you move this to the side it will become minus 24 so c is equals to 6 centimeter so let us find out s value that is a plus b plus c by 2 a plus b plus c is already given that is 30 30 divided by 2 will be nothing but 15 centimeter s value is 15 centimeter so area of triangle formula is nothing but root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so s value is nothing but 15 again 15 minus a is 12 again 15 minus b is 12 and 15 minus c is 6 we got okay now 15 we will keep it as it is 15 minus 12 is 3 again 15 minus 12 is 3 15 minus 6 is 9 okay so this 15 will keep it as 15 itself okay into 3 3 is a 9 we got 9 into 9 we got okay so 15 as it is and 9 into 9 means 9 square you can keep now this square and this root is cancelled so 9 is outside and this root 15 will be as it is so the final answer is centimeter square 9 root 15 centimeter square so that's all here this exercise is completed here so we'll move on to the next exercise into the next video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel we'll be back soon with the another video that is the next exercise of this chapter so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you